it's uh, John VK4BZ. Uh, what I'm doing today is giving you, showing you a, um, a bit more detail on an antenna that I featured in my first uh, YouTube video on soda antennas, um, a mil-spec portable jobby. Now I've actually worked out this is made by a company called Bushcom and this is their mil-1 portable lightweight antenna. Before I do that I've got to apologise that I look so scruffy. Well, you know, I'm out in the great outdoors, my wife and I are out doing what we love doing best, which is camping, and uh, yeah, so, a bit of facial fuzz, wouldn't pass muster on parade, but that's not for a few days yet when I get back from leave. So anyway, here we go. This is the, uh, the Mill 1 antenna. Now, um, it's supposed to be an all band um, from 3.6 megs to 30 megs uh, antenna that you don't need an antenna tuner with. It's uh, 28, uh, 28 meters in length, doesn't weigh very much at all. You've got uh, the long end, which uh, is this part here, which I've got strung up into a tree at the moment. Then you've got in the middle part, uh, is your, uh, your SO239 connector, and that's into a ballon, uh, which is supposed to balance everything out. And then you've got a short end coming to an alligator clip, which goes to uh, a metal peg or pole that you put in the ground. Right, first up, I've tried this in a number of configurations and you can see from the diagram the way uh, Bushcom wants you to do this is to stick uh, most of this up in like a V formation. So you, uh, you've got about a 6 mil counterpoise dropping down, six, sorry correction, 6 metre counterpoise dropping down and the rest of it comes back down to here. Uh, that's the way they've, they've set it. I've also seen demonstrations on other YouTube videos where they're using this as a near vertical incidence antenna uh, with a cell call or some other sort of phone system. And apparently it all works, but from my experience is that it hasn't actually worked um, for being um, not requiring an antenna tuner. Uh, maybe it's just allergic to ham bands, I don't know. The only band I could get a decent uh, SWR on it was on uh, 20 metres and even then it was 2.5 to 1. So I've had to use the antenna tuner to get this to work. Um, could just be um, the age of this particular device, this is second hand. Uh, what I'll have to do is get an antenna analyzer, put it on there, stick it up and see how it goes from there. So what I'm basically doing, is the configuration I've got this in, is one straight out wire going right up to the tree. Uh, it's probably about 10 metres up on that end and this end will then come down to uh, a um, tent peg that I've got driven into the ground and I'll clip that on there and see how it goes. But anyway, uh, first test of uh, being able to uh, work without an antenna tuner. Sorry, Bushcom, but it hasn't worked. So, uh, and maybe someone's got an answer for me there as to why. But anyway, um, if all you need is a really small antenna tuner, and this thing is ultralight and will do the job for your SATA antennas. Okay, the next thing is for me to actually see what sort of results I get um, from uh, conducting uh, QSAs with other operators. Well, you can see I'm no longer in the field environment. In fact, uh, I'm back in uh, my temporary shack at the moment. Uh, you saw from the CW contact I was attempting there before that uh, I was having a lot of difficulties actually getting that antenna to, um, to be heard on by anybody and uh, quite strong ZL signal. So uh, what I've done now is I've set um, the antenna back up again at my uh, temporary location, my temporary shack. Um, and I've also got a, a dipole up. Now I'm not going to do a comparison between the two simply because the dipole is up um, a decent height and everything else whereas the, uh, the mill one is still just stuck up out in a tree. What I'm going to try and do is see if I can actually get any contacts. Uh, there's a contest on at the moment, the Oceania contest. So I'll see if I can get any phone contacts and uh, do a quick comparison to see if they actually hear me on the mill one antenna. The VK3 Whiskey Kilo, uh, VK4 Bravo Zulu Portable 2. Uh, VK4 Bravo Zulu Portable 6, thank you for the call. 59 uh, QSL the 069. Um, what I'm actually chasing, mate, um, you're a 001 for me. Could I just quickly get out a comparison with you um, on another antenna, please? Okay, uh, VK3 Whiskey Kilo, VK4 Bravo Zulu, how's that one? Oh, I'll sell that one. 5 and 4 on that one, and uh, 5 and 9 on the, uh, on the first 
Uh, QSL mate, no, I'm just doing a check. It's, uh, I'm actually doing a YouTube video as well, so I'm just comparing a few antennas. So thanks, Vatch, you're going to be famous. Yeah, well, I'm back on the first antenna now. Uh, there's a bit of there's a bit of a difference for you as well. You're five and nine plus ten on this one, and you're about a five and seven on the other one. Mate, appreciate that. Good luck in the contest. I'm not in it. Just uh, checking on some antennas. Uh, Cheerio, uh, VK3 whiskey kilo, VK4 Bravo Zulu port two. Well, there you go. Um, the uh, Bushcom Mill one antenna actually works. Uh, you heard me working a VK3 station, I'm located in VK2 at the moment, so it clearly was able to work. But there are two things I think you really need to keep in consideration with this antenna. First of all, um, I've had to use an antenna tuner on it. As I said to you uh, earlier on in the DVD, uh, the only band it seems to want to tune up on by itself is on the 20 metre band. On the other ones, um, including 40 metres, I've had to use the antenna tuner on it. So if you're going to use this for a SOTA antenna, Yes, it works, but you will need um, an antenna tuner. The other thing I'd say too is to keep in mind that when you're using it as a sloper antenna, which is the, probably the easiest way, and that's the way I've got it set up at the moment, it does function directionally like a sloper antenna does. So from listening around to other stations, and there's a whole pile of stations working the Oceania contest, I realised that when I, the direction the antenna is pointed is actually away, particularly at VK3, is actually pointed away from the VK3. So I think it, is, uh, it will be directional if you intend to use it as a sloper antenna. But having said that, you know, unless someone can tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong or there is something more to do with a Bushcom antenna to get them to uh, load up successfully, as the documentation says, on the whole of HF, um, it doesn't do it. But you do have a very, very uh, light and portable um, antenna which will work really well for SOTA you just need to take a small tuner. Anyway that's it for this uh, YouTube video thanks for watching and we'll catch you around the trap somewhere. 7-3 from John VK4BZ